Grid, let's talk about grid, GPU in the cloud. Really, really cool stuff. We had this vision that we could put GPU in the cloud and make interactive graphics appear like it's coming from anywhere and everywhere and run on any device. Putting GPU in the cloud was an extraordinary endeavor. We had to solve several problems. One problem is we had to make it so that the display output is no longer connected to your computer and the display input, the computer input is not something you directly drive. It has to go over the internet, of course, runs in the data center and comes back. And it has to do it so fast, we call it remoting, and it has to do it so fast that you feel like it's interactive. We have to do it in somewhere between 100 to 200 milliseconds. And you're fighting all kinds of issues, including the speed of light. The second problem we have to solve was putting a large density of GPUs and servers. Energy efficiency was really, really vital so that we could rack up thousands of GPUs, put them into data centers, and serve the world the way that Netflix is serving video to the world, except computer, interactive computer graphics. And the third, because this GPU is now put into the cloud, it has to be shared by many. People call it multi-tenant. In order to be multi-tenant, in order to support multiple applications at the same time, you have to be virtualized. Virtualizing the GPU has been one of the great endeavors of our company. Now, we felt that if we could solve this problem, it really offered us the ability to bring to the world a unique, a unique capability that probably nobody else in the world can. And what I mean by that is this. There's an important piece of software in our company called what people call the device driver, but it is the most complicated system function, system code in a computer anywhere. It is the work of thousands of engineers over the course of, well, our company's 21 years. We are compatible with every application that runs on a PC that I know of. Everything from Katia, the 3DS Max, all the way to Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty, and of course, Internet Explorer and Flash, and everything that runs, runs on our stack. As a result, if we could put this stack, the G4 stack, the Quadro stack, the Tesla stack, if we could put these stacks of software virtualized in the cloud, we could really, really make virtualization happen. And so today we have something really, really exciting to announce. The company that brought enterprise virtualization and turned it into an industry, the most important virtualization company in the world, is here to join us today. I'll introduce them in just a second. We have a common vision of not just virtualizing within the walls of the data center, but to virtualize from the core of the data center, virtualize from the data, all the way out to the client, all the way out to the application. In the future, because of grid, we can now literally virtualize an enterprise from end to end. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you Ben Fothy, the CTO of the largest, most important virtualization company in the world. Ben, could you join me on stage, please? Good morning, Jensen. Ben, welcome. Thank you. Now, Glad to be here. Now, I just have to tell a quick story. Ben, ben and I um, and our company and our industry share quite a long history. Turns out, Ben used to be at Silicon Graphics. Many years ago. Turn, <laughs> it turns out, uh, it turns out he used to build supercomputers. And, uh, and when he arrived earlier, we were, still, we were still putting a few pieces together, and he saw the Unreal Engine demo running. <laughs> and at the end of it, he goes, wow, that's a really good movie. What movie is it? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, he just touched my heart. <laughs> he just touched my heart. Hey, Ben, so we're working on Grid. Um, the thing that we're announcing is that uh, ESX, Horizon View, Horizon View DAS, which basically is your um, VDI in the cloud, yep. is now going to be powered by Grid. What's the big deal for the enterprise that you think? I mean, you, you're no, I don't know any other expert greater than you in this area, but you know, what, is, what do you think this means to the enterprise? I think this is huge for the enterprise. You know, VMware has been on this journey for the last 15 years of virtualizing every application, every operating system 
on the x86 platform. And we've taken over probably 70 to 80% of all enterprise applications are running on our stack, just you were, yeah. like you were talking earlier about your stack. Um, there are several workloads or applications that are not amenable to virtualization. Low latency, real time applications, and graphics. Mm -hmm. High intensity graphics applications and um, the types of workloads that you're talking about here. Things like CATIA, 3D uh, graphics are really hard to virtualize because of all the compute and all the GPU power that they consume. So one of the things that uh, we want to do is virtualize every application out there, including low latency, real time, as well as uh, graphics and um, 3D graphics. So what this means is there's literally half, well, over half a billion commercial desktops out there, and I think all of those will benefit from us working together to bring the capacity and capabilities of NVIDIA Grid to the DAS solutions that we provide. So that's what you we're know, working on together. You know, we've been on this journey now, and you know that we're, we're uh, working with OEMs of every single country, and we're in servers all over the world, and the one consistent request that everybody has is they say, look, my data center is already virtualized and running VMware ESX. If we could figure out a way, if you and Ben <laughs> could get your stuff integrated and working together seamlessly, it would just be the holy grail for us. And so I, I'm just incredibly excited about this. The, the, the audience is probably trying to figure out, so when, they, when can they get their hands on this? This is something so, our engineers are working really so hard together is, on. The, the Horizon DAS solution is available today, and uh, there are really two announcements that we're making today. One is that Navisite is going to be the first service provider to offer this. Um, and it's available today, you, you can, uh, we can get all the benefits of desktop as a service in the cloud. And the integration with the grid uh, technology that you, we're working on together. A virtual GPU. Virtual GPU. That's going to be available later in 2014 for early customer access. And it's going to be available, general availability is going to be in 2015. So we started this journey together earlier this year and have been working together. We have uh, the prototypes running in our labs and the software is looking great, the experience is great, mm -hmm. and we're looking forward to bringing that to all of your customers and our customers together next That's year, fantastic. this year and next year. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. It's great to have Thank you. you. Thank you. This is a big deal. Partnering with VMware now makes it possible for us to finally virtualize the enterprise from end to end. And the really amazing thing is this. The really amazing thing is to watch all of these applications and just run. I mean, it doesn't matter what it really is. It could be a video game, it could be a computer-aided design, it could be a digital content creation package, an art package. It doesn't really matter, it just runs. And now, uh, with the integration with ESX, it not only runs, but it runs wonderfully. I can't wait to deliver it.